right now inside a secure Boeing facility in St. Louis, Missouri. Something extraordinary is taking form. A fighter aircraft so advanced that it has forced China and Russia to rethink their entire air combat doctrine. This aircraft is known as the F-47. And according to U.S. defense leadership, nothing currently flying comes close to it. With a projected cost of nearly $300 million per aircraft, a combat radius exceeding 1,000 nautical miles, and capabilities still largely classified, the F-47 is not just another fighter jet. It represents America's entry into sixth-generation warfare. For decades, the United States dominated the skies with the F-22 Raptor. But the strategic environment has changed. China is producing stealth fighters at scale. Russia is investing heavily in next-generation sensors and missiles. Air superiority is no longer guaranteed. The F-47 is America's answer, not just to stay ahead, but to redefine what air dominance means for the next half century. Welcome to RS Military, where we break down modern warfare, classified level technology, and the real power shaping global conflict. By 2024, the U.S. Air Force faced a hard reality. The systems that once guaranteed air superiority were aging, while adversaries were closing the gap faster than expected. Chinese stealth aircraft programs accelerated. Long-range surface-to-air missile networks expanded across the Pacific. The Air Force asked a critical question. Can fifth-generation fighters survive the next war? The answer was uncomfortable. Projected cost for the next generation air dominance program soared. Each F-47 was estimated to cost three times more than an F-35, triggering internal alarm. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall temporarily paused the program. Not because it failed, but because the stakes were enormous. A classified internal study examined every alternative. Upgraded F-35s, expanded drone fleets, missile-centric strategies. None could guarantee air dominance in a fully contested environment. The conclusion was blunt and final. Without a sixth-generation fighter, the United States risks losing control of the skies, and losing air superiority means losing wars. That internal study was led by Major General Joseph Kunkel, and its findings reshaped U.S. air power strategy. Simulation after simulation showed the same outcome. No existing platform could survive against modern integrated air defenses without unacceptable losses. General Kenneth Wilsback, commander of Air Combat Command, made the reality clear. America does not need sixth generation aircraft to compete. It needs them to counter. This was no longer about future threats. It was about current trajectories. In March, 2025, President Trump approved full continuation of the program. Boeing secured the contract, defeating Lockheed Martin in one of the most consequential defense competitions in decades. The F-47 was officially greenlit, not as an experiment, but as a strategic necessity. Production began almost immediately, with first flights scheduled for 2028. The message to America's adversaries was unmistakable. The United States was not reacting late. It was moving first. Sixth generation fighters are not defined by speed alone. The F-47 represents a complete shift in how air combat is fought. Unlike previous aircraft, the F-47 is designed to operate as a command node, not a lone fighter. It controls a network of collaborative combat aircraft, autonomous drones that carry weapons, jam radars, gather intelligence, and engage targets independently. Instead of risking pilots deep inside enemy airspace, the F-47 coordinates strikes from safer distances while unmanned systems absorb the risk. The Air Force envisions a force structure of roughly 200 F-47s supported by over 1,000 autonomous combat drones, a 5 to 1 force multiplier. This man-machine teaming fundamentally changes battlefield math. One pilot now commands an entire combat ecosystem, overwhelming enemy defenses with coordination, speed, and information dominance. This is not evolution, it is transformation. 
The F-47's physical performance is equally disruptive. Its combat radius exceeds 1,000 nautical miles, allowing deep penetration missions without refueling, a critical advantage in the vast Pacific theater. Compared to the F-22, this represents roughly 25% more reach. Speed remains lethal. The F-47 is designed to super cruise above Mach 2, maintaining supersonic flight without afterburners. This increases range, reduces fuel consumption, and shortens engagement timelines. Stealth, however, is where the aircraft truly separates itself. The F-47 features next-generation low-observable design that reduces radar, infrared, and electronic signatures simultaneously, a concept known as spectral dominance. Unlike older stealth coatings, these surfaces are more durable and require less maintenance, increasing readiness. In modern warfare, detection equals destruction. The F-47 is built to remain unseen across every relevant spectrum. What most people don't realize is that the F-47 is not new. As early as 2019, a full-scale sixth-generation demonstrator was already flying. In 2020, the Air Force confirmed that multiple experimental aircraft had accumulated hundreds of flight hours under classified programs. DARPA contracted both Boeing and Lockheed Martin to fly X-plane demonstrators, not to compete for publicity, but to reduce risk. These aircraft tested propulsion, stealth shaping, sensor fusion, and digital manufacturing long before production approval. This approach reversed decades of failed defense acquisition models. Instead of designing on paper and hoping technology worked later, the Air Force proved the technology first. That is why there are no leaked photos, no satellite images, no public test footage. The aircraft has been hidden by design. When the F-47 flies publicly in 2028, the world will see only what the Pentagon allows. The F-47's cost reflects what it contains. Its adaptive cycle engines can reconfigure in flight, optimizing for speed, range, or efficiency as needed. This technology alone took decades to mature. Its avionics integrate sensors, drones, satellites, and aircraft into a single fused battlefield picture. The onboard computing power rivals that of advanced data centers. The aircraft uses open systems architecture, allowing future weapons, sensors, and software to be integrated without redesigning the airframe. This ensures relevance for 50 years or more. Some analysts believe the F-47 may even support strategic nuclear delivery, though details remain classified. You're not buying a jet. You are buying a survivable command platform for the most hostile airspace on Earth. Against that reality, $300 million is not excess, it is insurance. The F-47 exists for one reason, China. Beijing has openly flown next-generation stealth aircraft, expanded long-range missile coverage, and militarized the South China Sea. Taiwan sits at the center of a potential conflict that would determine global balance of power. There is no scenario where the United States prevails in the Pacific without air superiority. Chinese planners understand this. That is why their focus has shifted toward denying access rather than matching U.S. platforms directly. The F-47 undermines that strategy. It forces China to confront an aircraft they cannot reliably detect, outrange, or overwhelm. Deterrence is psychological as much as physical. When adversaries believe they cannot win, they hesitate. The F-47 is designed to create that hesitation. Production of the F-47 is already underway in St. Louis. Boeing is moving at unprecedented speed, with first public flights scheduled for 2028 and operational deployment expected shortly after. The Air Force plans to procure at least 185 aircraft, matching the F-22 fleet with strong indications that number may grow. This is not just an aircraft program. It is the foundation of future air combat, where humans and machines fight together as a single system. 
The F-47 represents American resolve, technological dominance, and strategic foresight. It exists not to provoke war, but to prevent it. Air superiority decides conflicts before the first missile is fired. And with the F-47, the United States intends to control the skies for decades to come. The F-47 isn't built for today's wars. It's built to stop tomorrow's. Air superiority decides conflicts. And this aircraft is designed to control the skies before a fight even begins. This isn't hype. It's strategy. This is RS military.